Aguveli luto nje enga kuluma ngako So unzaveli nje kuluma ili nje Yazi I have been so lucky I have been so lucky in the past I would say Nisambe two years or so I have been so lucky to be part of this journey I have embarked on. This journey I never thought that would turn out as something that would be a positive um, way of me living. And today I just thought, let me just record a video and see what comes to mind. And then I'll talk about it. So, the past two years have been a really, really interesting uh, period of my life. Not because I turned 40 three years ago, but because my life changed. My life took a 360 degree turn. And that 360 degree turn has opened up so many opportunities for me to learn about myself, for me to meet new people, for me to get different perspectives on life. And to get this kind of education that um, one cannot necessarily get from an institution of higher learning, as an example. But speaking about institutions of higher learning, I was able to find myself as a member in an institution of higher learning after so many years of trying to get back to school and complete my degree um, and in the meantime I did short courses here and there of, of sales management and uh, short courses here and there of audiovisual technologies learning a little bit of networking learning a little bit of control systems and learning a little bit of things as I just went through life but the past few years have been an eye-opener for me I didn't get this eye-opening experience by doing something significant I actually got this life-changing experience through just life through living through getting to understand why things that happen around me happen around me and taking more interest in my life. Because eventually I started believing that there isn't such a thing as a coincidence. I started believing that things happen um, for a reason. Things happen because they are supposed to happen. Although at the moment we don't know what the reason is, what I started doing is journaling all of these things that started happening, all of my um, unsuitable behaviors, all of my suitable behaviors, all of my decisions, all of my um, following of intuition, when I didn't follow my intuition, and I started paying a closer attention um, to all of those things and I realized soon enough that there is this communication that happens between myself and God, um, my higher power, 
and it is a constant communication that takes place. All I have to do is take the time out and literally just listen, um, so to speak. So I found that some of the messages come through people, some of the messages come through books that I read, some of the messages come through a complete stranger that you bump into um, in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden this person has got something to say that relates to what you need to hear at that specific moment and that person disappears and you will never see them again. So what do you do with such circumstances? How do you handle them? What do you call them? I have come up with a name for them. I call them God moments. I call them intuition. I call them coincidence only because I believe that there isn't such a thing as coincidence. I believe that everything happens exactly as the way it is supposed to happen. I'm not going to sit here and try and explain it or try to figure out how all of these things do happen and how they happen when they're supposed to happen. So what I take away from it, which is the most important thing I'm, thing I'm learning right now is if something happens, first of all, I, I pay more attention to it, more than usual. Try to look at it and see if there is any significance to any moment that's happening in my life. Is there a message I'm supposed to get out of this? Is this a random act that has just happened? And I will think about it and I will look at it and I will derive from it what I, what I feel at that point is a message that I need to get from that specific situation. When I think about these things, sometimes I feel crazy, um, but sometimes it really feels like intuition because, you know, there was a time I went to the hospital and um, while I was at the hospital, um, I followed a guy who, who was a number uh, before mine and um, I greeted him nicely and we had he just started having a conversation with me. So I was like, okay, the man needs to speak to someone. I'm just going to listen. That's the best that I can do at that time. But this man started speaking about something that sounded familiar to me. It sounded really familiar to me. And I, 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 just, I just allowed him to speak. I allowed him to speak and I allowed him to carry on um, saying what it is he had to say. But he had so much to say to me until he went into the doctor's office and then I followed after him. But that conversation stayed with me for a while and that conversation felt different. It felt like that man had a message of some sort. Um, there was something that I was supposed to hear um, from this man because after that encounter, it was, um, it felt strange, it felt weird, it felt like there was something um, that I was being taught. Um, but it didn't feel urgent. It didn't feel like there was something I was supposed to do about it. But it was more like everything will be okay um, kind of message. You know, you don't have to worry about um, a lot of things because everything will be okay. We are looking after you. You are protected. 
and everything will be okay. Now, it might be a very difficult thing to understand, but I think we all have that sort of intuition. Sometimes you'll be hanging around with friends and uh, you'll be having fun, um, you'll be drinking, you'll be brying, eating, and one of your friends says, guys, there is this beautiful place I love to go to. Let's just jump into our cars and go to this place and have fun. And then something deep inside you will say to you, mm, perhaps that's not a good idea. Maybe not tonight, maybe another time. And you can feel that message coming to you. You, can, you do have that intuition not to join. However, you decide to go anyway regardless of your intuition and then you get there you have fun you drink you dance you do all of these things and something happens something happens either to a group or something happens to you or something happens to someone close to you and there's an emergency and you sort it out and everybody's okay at the end of the day and then because everything is okay at the end of the day, you forget that you had that intuition that said to you, perhaps not tonight. Perhaps tonight, just go and um, take a nap. Go and sleep tonight. You'll join them another day. I'm talking about this because I am starting to um, have a little bit of an understanding on intuition and I've, I've seen I've had I've, I've experienced a couple of things where my intuition will say to me do it you'll do it tomorrow postpone it you know like postpone it one more day and I wouldn't and something would happen and I'll say oh my gosh but my intuition did say to me like do it another time and I just didn't follow my intuition and um, I think for me intuition has become something that I, I, I start listening to intuition is something that I, I, I would look at and say okay that is my first reaction my first reaction is a really strong one and it's saying do not do it and these days i listen to my intuition so if i want to get in the car and go to the shop and i go to the car and i stop the car and i have this feeling in my you know deep down in my gut and it says to me uh, wait an hour you know I will wait an hour and while I wait an hour I would find out that there is <laughs> something going on down the road that may have caused a delay so intuition doesn't always warn you about dangerous things but it also warn you about things that may be an inconvenience to you um, things are not things that are not right for you to um, handle at that time, you know. So, yeah, I wanted to just speak about intuition and how I've come to appreciate it. I'm really interested to know, though, if, um, if you are watching this, if you do have a really strong sense of intuition, and if you do, how do you handle it? How do you know um, which which side to listen to, which side not to listen to? Um, how serious must you take it? Um, how do you know the difference between um, intuition and fear? And um, how do you know the differences between intuition and just the just um, 
doubt, you know. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking about today. And I thought, let me just put it on um, video and um, and see <laughs> what you all think about it. It's really, really good um, to do the sessions with you. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic Saturday. I love you lots. Goodbye. Bye.